Sequence and Series Arithmetic and Geometric Progression KCSE 1999 Question 20 Paper 2 A. The first term of an arithmetic progression is 4 and the last term is 20. The sum of the terms is 252. Calculate the number of terms and the common difference of the arithmetic progression, 4 marks. B. An experimental culture has an initial population of 50 bacteria. The population increased by 80% every 20 minutes. Determine the time it will take to have a population of 1.2 million bacteria. 4 marks. So that is a question. Let's go straight to the solution. Now part one of the question, you're given the first term is four, so that is uh, part A. So part A, the first term is four. So the first term of AP, an arithmetic progression is denoted by A. Then the last term, we are going to denote that one by 20. The sum of the terms, the sum of the terms is uh, 252. Now those are the values that are given in that question. Calculate the number of terms and the common difference of the arithmetic progression. The common difference and the number of terms. Now there are two formulas that are used to calculate the sum of a number of terms of any arithmetic progression. Now the first one is given by Sn is given by n divided by 2 to brackets 2a plus n minus 1 d now formula is used to calculate the sum of a number of terms when you're given the number of terms the first term and the common difference the second method is um, where you're given the first term and the last term you're given the first term and the last term and you also have the number of terms so these two formulas are the one that we use to calculate the sum of a number of terms for any arithmetic progression now in this question you're given the sum of um, number of terms which is 52 we are required to get now the number of terms so when you look at the first one here uh, the first one you will have um, a is given it is 4 n is not given d is not given so in that um, formula we have two unknowns when you go to the second one we have the number of terms that is what you are looking for we have um, sn the sum of the number of terms is there a is given is 4 l is 20 so automatically this is the formula that you're supposed to use to get the number of terms so let us use that so sn is equals to n divided by 2 then uh, a plus l so sn the number of terms is 252 is equals to n divided by 2 then a a is 4 l is 20 a is 4 and l is 20 so to get rid of 2 we can multiply both sides of the equation by 2 so 252 multiply by 2 they give 504 then n over 2 multiply by 2 you get n then this would be 20 plus 4 this would give 24 so therefore we shall have 24 n can bring it to the left hand side so n times 4 is 24 n is equals to 504 so dividing both sides by 24 um, we get n is equals to when you divide n is equals to 21 so therefore the number of terms are 21 now we need to get the common difference of this arithmetic progression now automatically the first formula sn is equals to n over 2 into brackets 2a plus n minus 1 d this is the one that you're going to use to calculate uh, the common difference the second formula you don't have a d the common difference now that you have n we should use that one so this is what you're going to use so sn is equals to n over 2 
then um, n over 2 into brackets this is a 2a plus n minus 1 d so that is the formula that you should use sn is given is a 252 is equals to n we've calculated n n is 21 then um, this one is a 2a a is 4 so this will be 2 times 4 plus n is 21 so 21 minus 1 then d now we are looking for that d so let's solve this equation now to get rid of uh, 21 over 2 we can multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 21 over 2 which is 2 multiply by 21 over 2 both sides of the equation so when you multiply the right hand side of the equation by 2 divide um, by 2 divided by this is the, the reciprocal sorry the reciprocal of uh, 21 over 2 which will be 2 divided by 21 2 divided by 21 so when you do I'll multiply this side again by this 21 over 2 times uh, 2 over 21 and then here we shall have 8 plus this will be 20 this will be 20 D so you notice that this one will cancel and then uh, for this one this is a 252 there's something that I've missed here 252 write it here so 200 so 252 this will be 252 multiply by the reciprocal of 21 over 2 which is uh, 2 divided by 21 so when you work out this uh, 252 multiply by of um, 21 so calculator you get uh, it will be 24 24 is equals to this will be 8 plus 20 D so making D the subject uh, you can take this one to this side I will get uh, 20 D is equals to uh, 24 subtract 8 which will be 16 so we have um, 20 D is equals to is equals to 16 and therefore D is equals to 16 over 20 this one simplified will be 4 over 5 so that is the common difference so we have obtained the number of terms are using uh, the second formula here then the second part to get the common difference you have used uh, the first one now let's go to the second part of the question part b an experimental culture has an initial population of 50 bacteria population increased by 80 percent every 20 minutes determine the time it will take to have a population of 1.2 million bacteria so when you look at that question you need to think on whether it is you're going to use arithmetic progression or geometric progression now for an arithmetic progression there must be a common difference for a geometric progression there must be a common ratio now when i look at the values that are given here the initial population is 50 bacteria so the initial population so initial population means the first number of bacteria and that would be denoted by a then we are given that there is an increase of 50 of 80 percent for every 20 minutes there's an increase there's an increase of 80 um, percent so 80 percent uh, this will represent the ratio and that is how you come to a conclusion that you're supposed to use um uh, this one will be an a geometric progression so it will be 80 over 100 that is a ratio and uh, then there's something else that you're given here and this is increases for every 20 minutes then there is something here these are uh, the end term because you are required to get at what point after how long they have population of 1.2 million bacteria so 1.2 million bacteria now that will be the the end term after so many periods that we don't know that will be the end term which is uh, 1.2 million so that is how you write 1.2 million bacteria so in order to if the first um, number of bacteria is 50 to get to the next after 80 percent increase 
assuming that the, the initial is a hundred percent so after an increase of 80 percent when you move to the next period there will be an increase and that increase will be represented by the ratio which is 180 percent which is um this is the ratio and this will be represented by 1.8 so therefore the ratio will be represented by 1.8 so if we write this one as um geometric progression this is what we should have a r raised to power n and we need to get uh, now um which term is this that is going to give us um this population that is a 1.2 million so when we write it like this eh, when you have a which is a 50 bacteria then we increase that by this ratio 1.8 and we raise that to a certain number of period we should get 1.2 million so 50 is the first term then we multiply by 1.8 which is the ratio of an increase then we raise it to n n in this case we represent it write it here n represents the number of periods the number of periods or terms and these periods occur after every every 20 minutes after every 20 minutes that is when you move to the next uh, or the next term we can call it the periods or terms so this should give um, 1.2 million so let us uh, solve this equation so 15 multiply by 1.8 and is equals to 1.2 million so we divide both sides by 50 we get 1.8 and when you divide the both sides by 50, uh, we divide 1.2 million divided by 50. 1.2 million divided by 50, this will give uh, 24,000. This will give 24,000. Now to solve this, you have to introduce logs. And these are both on both sides of course. So you should have log of 1.8 raised to power n is equals to logarithm of uh, 24,000. Uh, the left hand side log of 1.8 raised to power n is the same as uh, n log 1.8 is equals to log of 24,000. So making n the subject of the formula dividing both sides of the equation by log 1.8 so you have log of 24,000 divided by log of 1.8 and this gives when you work out this using a calculator you work it out using a calculator this is what you should get log of 24,000 divided by log of 1.8 you get 17.16 now 17.16 these are the number of terms that will give or the number of periods that will give uh, 1.2 million bacteria but remember that this period from one period to the next it takes 20 minutes 20 minutes when you move from one term to the next it takes 10 minutes and we have got the number of terms that are there will be 17.16 so we want to calculate the total time we just need to multiply because one period is represented by 20 minutes so if this number of periods is 17.16 we shall take that 17.16 we multiply by 20 minutes and uh, this should give when you multiply these this one should give 343 343.2 343.2 and these are minutes these are the minutes so that is uh, how you're supposed to solve that question